Hi everyone, welcome back to a new video. In today's video, I have finally got round to trying out these acrylic powders from Nail & Beauty Excellence. Um, probably about three months ago now. It, I'm not even sure how long it's been, but it's been ages I've been sat on these. And I've been aware that I've been sat on these and I've wanted to do something with them, but you know, it takes me a long time to get myself prepared for acrylic because I don't use it very often. <laughs> So I thought, right, this is silly, right? She sent me this and I've got to do something with it. Um, oh, I found this on the packet inside. So if you can use this, if you want to try it, I hope I'm okay to show you that. But in this, this is a trial kit. I think this is a trial kit. You get five core colours. Um, I'm going to swatch the colours, but there's like a, um, a glassy pink, a plush pink, um, just peachy those are I suppose like your new your you know nail bed colors there's a clear a white there is the acid free primer I think that was acid free and then there's a little bot bottle of monoma so this was them swatched and then the one thing that I've had in the past with um, these sort of core powders or nail bed powders is that they marble um, and I'd always thought it was my bead consistency, but I didn't have that with these at all. So that was um, a bonus, real bonus actually, because I hate when that marble happens. Um, so, all right, this was the ice diamond, which I didn't swatch because it's just clear. So, right now, for those of you have been here a while you know that i'm not very confident with acrylic so do bear with me <laughs> oh i'm also going to be using these lilac snowmen from nail sugar these are part of the new glitters and um, decals i'm also going to be using nordic sky which is one of the new ones so because i don't have any colored powders from nail and beauty excellence i'm going to use the glitter to create the color on my nails so when you're applying glitter um, it's sort of advisable that you put a clear layer of acrylic down first because then if your client comes back and they want like they want a, a redesign then you know or they perhaps they don't want glitter you can file down to the clear layer of acrylic and then start again Do you see what I mean so like if you're doing it I mean it doesn't just apply to acrylic it could apply to anything um, it's always good I it's, it's good practice to put a clear layer down before you know but don't listen to me because i haven't done acrylic for a long time so you know whatever <laughs> anyway i'm picking the glitter up with a small wet bead of the clear and then yeah so i take a small wet bead of the clear i will dab it into the glitter and then i will spread the glitter onto the nail and this nordic sky glitter is absolutely gorgeous there's like little cosmic stars there's those little five pointed stars and then there's like holographic glitter there's diamond shapes in this there's just such a gorgeous combination of glitters in this mix i absolutely love it i will cap this nail um at the end which i forgot to show but whoops <laughs> oh, and then right on the pinky a tick again to add a little bit of color i'm gonna do a, a glitter cuff i can't think what they call it like a cuticle ombre so we're adding some of the glitter to the just sort of around the very you know the cuticle area maybe down the nail plate a little bit well i mean it is down the nail plate a little bit there's no maybes about it but we're gonna we're gonna do an ombre on this now oh yeah i just decided to go over the, the glitter with a bit of clear as well just to smooth it out a little bit so that hopefully my my nude ombre over the top would be a bit more a bit easier for me because oh, this is where I thought it was all gonna go wrong because I started off with this I was like right we're gonna put this on here and I was like no Nats you want to do the wipe first so I wiped that off 
Also, my brush is too big for me. I think my brush is too big. I'm going to start with the white at the bottom. And uh, I thought the bead was a bit wet, a bit wetter than it was. But I tried to blend it up a little bit, but it had started to... The bead obviously wasn't as wet as I thought it was. Which is probably good, because I usually work too wet. Um, but I've done a, a bead of white, and then I decided to go up a little bit further. Which... Mm. Billy, why are you bark? Why is he bark now? Uh, yeah, so I've gone in with another bead of white, <clears throat> and then I'm going to add my nude to create the ombre. So I'm going to put this here and then blend it down. And I thought I done I, like it's probably the product to be fair because. I have no confidence in my acrylic application anymore. <laughs> now, actually, do you know what? The good thing about acrylic is that it needs filing. And even if your application is somewhat messy like mine. Okay, really messy. <laughs> actually, this one wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. Um, if Yeah, if your acrylic application is a little bit messy, then we, you know, you file it afterwards. So that can the filing can what's the word the filing covers a multitude of sins in your application that's what i'm trying to say but i'm going to put some clear on that nail to cap the um what's it called to cap the ombre in but i'll do that i'll do that at the end so this nail i wanted a full nail of I'm sure this is plush pink. It looks a little bit peachy to me, but it's probably not. And this is where the test comes in the marbling. Because when I do full nails of like core cool colours like this, it usually marbles. But you'll see, like later on, I, d I don't get anything. I don't, I go, I get nothing. No, I put, look, sorry, excuse that. Application. It's terrible. <laughs> oh my goodness. I might actually, right, after Christmas, if I've got some money, I might treat myself to a, a new acrylic brush and perhaps some more acrylic colours. Because I, I do have, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I've got eight acrylic colours left from Rachel Wilder's. Um, but they're only, they're kind of autumn colours. Um, yeah. And I was going to get myself some Neo colours. But I am quite tempted to try Jade's. Because these are, I was really pleased with the application of... Like, look, I've put, and I'm, I'm going to add another bead as well to this nail. So, look, just excuse my shoddy application here. But uh, what have I done? Like, one, two, three, four. I think this is the fifth bead I've added. And once I file the nail and everything, and you see it, but there's there's absolutely no marbling whatsoever. I was like, I think that's going to be enough. I don't want to make it too thick, but I, I usually make the nails oh gosh this one this is like if oh don't look at this one my application on the white was just terrible i always struggle to i always struggle with whites white acrylic powder is is quite hard um for me to work with <laughs> but i'm literally doing the same as what i did with that nude nail i love that color I'm sure it's plush pink I used. I think it's such a nice colour. I might have to treat myself. <laughs> I shouldn't though, because we've got Christmas coming. Oh, maybe I will. We'll see. Right, so this is, this should have been my, yeah. Do you know what it is with the white? I, I'm worried to, to, I don't know, I'm worried about the white getting stuck in my brush. And I was being a little bit, I don't know, I was being a bit weird with it. It 
See now, watching myself use acrylic, I want to try another set. Maybe I should, because it's like I watch cleaning, I've been watching loads of cleaning videos lately. There's a lady called Ur Uri Katerina, she's called. And um, she does like, she cleans these houses that are, you know, like really bad. Like there's rubbish all over the, like literally rubbish everywhere. And, um, um, you know, after a couple of days of watching it, I ended up deep cleaning my kitchen and... It's a bit like if you watch something a lot that you kind of enjoy, then you you want to you know what I mean. You want to kind of get out and give it a go. Um, I thought that would be that would be enough because I didn't want to. Uh, yeah, and it's kind of like that when watching. So maybe I should watch more acrylic nail videos because it might get me in the mood to do acrylic. Ah, right. I'm going to be using this Melody Susie e-file. It's the best one of theirs I've ever had and I absolutely love it. I really, really loved the last one that I had, but this one just tops that one. And I can't remember what this one is called, but I'm going to link it below and you can save 12%, I think, using my code NATMUG12K. Also, the Ali Ala hand I'm using is the um, the Anais Lifelike Half Hand in the shade Autumn. You can save 5% on their website using my code NATMUG5. They do have a UK distributor now, though. Um, a lot of the time with Ali Ala hand, if you purchase... They're from Portugal, I believe, and you usually end up with, like, customs charges so it's probably best if you're in the uk to i think kirsty meekin is the uk distributor um but you can say five percent using my code natmug5 if you want to uh right moving on we're gonna add a decal to the white nail uh, look at look at the nails now they're so much better now i filed them do you see what i mean like and i i don't know if you can you i don't know if you'll see that like on the nude nail look there's absolutely no marbling whatsoever <sighs> heaven I was just, I was super pleased with that. Anyway, I'm adding a little bit of base coat to this white nail because we need a tacky layer for the decal to stick to. I'm going to add the decal upside down on a stamper and I just wet the back of it. And then you need to let the backing of the decal soak up the water and you're going to slide the backing off of the decal. I just dab it gently with my fingers to get the water off. And then we're going to stamp the snowman onto the tacky layer where we put the base coat. We have cured the base coat. Stamp it on. Ta-da! Look at the snowman! I am so excited for Christmassy winter nails, by the way. <laughs> I hope you don't get annoyed with them. <laughs> And then I'm going to seal the snowman in with the velvet matte top coat from Madame Glam. I had a brain fart moment then. There we go. That can go in the lamp for 30 seconds. And then for the other nails, apart from that plain nude nail, which I did end up using the matte top coat on, the other two nails are going to be the shiny top coat. I forgot to clean the nails before I added the top coat. I tried to, I don't know why I didn't clean this nail. Look, there's there's like bits of around the cuticle. I needed to just, I don't know why I didn't. Anyway, you need to cure that. And then I thought what we do is we would add some, what's it called? You know, the sweater nails. We're going to add some of that. Do you know what as well, right? If you are a new nail tech... It is so much harder to hand paint on a real hand. All right, this isn't a real hand, but it's a hand. Do you, you know what I'm... You, I think you get what I'm saying. It's so much harder to paint a design on a real hand compared to a tip like I do. I, I'm more often than not, like 9.8 times out of 10, I will do a design on a tip as opposed to a hand. And it's so much easier. Doing it like this is so much more tricky and it takes a lot more concentration and effort so if you are a new nail tech i would thoroughly recommend getting yourself a practice hand or like a family member's hand and doing designs on a real hand as opposed to tip because especially if you plan on you know taking on cust clients customers clients um yeah, it's just, 
in my opinion, it's that like, I don't plan on taking on clients because I don't know. I just can't, I can't. I don't know what it is. I just can't bring myself to do it. It's so weird, which is why I do it for YouTube. But um, yeah, but that's just my two pence. If you're new to nails, honestly, a practice hand will do you. I think in the long term, a practice hand will do you so much more. But it will be so much more beneficial than working on tips. I mean, tips are all right for like practicing, but you know, there's nothing you can't beat a real hand. Do you see what I mean? Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I think you do. Anyway, look, we're adding a sweater design, and I'm doing one of the easier sort of sweater designs. It's just sort of little on the side elongated Zs. Yes. Then. I always like whatever design I do in the middle of a sweater now I always like to add um, vertical lines down the side of them and also I am using here Madame Glam's gel paints the gel paints don't have a tacky layer so I will cure these and I won't have to you know like re top coat if you are using a gel paint with a tacky layer, I would recommend sprinkling it with some clear acrylic powder or some clear dip powder just to, it will just get rid of that tacky layer. Um, but yeah, anyway, and it'll also make it look a bit embossed. Right, I've cured that for 60 seconds. These crystals are Zodiac shapes from Crystal Parade. I've also got a Zodiac white opal crystal in the middle there so there's they've got some they've not long recently released some new um crystal shapes uh, of, of different colors and these the violet ones that i'm using are uh, some of the new ones i'm going to use my rachel wilder's little mini led lamp just to zap that into place it's so much easier than keep putting the lamp, the hand in the lamp every like five seconds. Um, I tell you what though, doing the acrylic nails really makes my hands ache after filing. Oh, I hope that's not going to be a thing. I, I I will try and do more acrylic nails next year. Um, it's just it, it's the filing. It's the same though with with the hard gel nails. It's although hard gel filing hard gel is so much more easier than acrylic. It's still it's it's just it just puts me off, and I'd get the dust everywhere. And I did I got rid of my Vodex machine. Though I do have a little Melody Susie dust extractor, which I should probably use because it will just you know it's the dust. Oh, it's yeah. Anyway, look, I've added the crystals on in this shape. I decided to add a few more crystals just around the outside and then once I have fully cured the crystals into place I like to wipe over with some isopropyl alcohol and that just gets rid of any fingerprints or wax residue if you use a wax pencil or whatever but anyway this is them finished I hope you like them if you did please leave me a like if you haven't already do consider subscribing don't forget to hit that notification bell so you don't miss any future uploads I'm gonna leave the links to um, the thing like the nail and beauty excellence and the melody Susie e file and stuff down below but god bless love you all and i will see you in the next one love you bye